Vietnam is a country of breathtaking natural beauty mixed with a unique heritage. This exotic blend of culture and scenery can be seen from the stunning beaches high into the mountains above its lush jungle. And beyond the bustling cities like Da Nang, you'll encounter an authentic Vietnamese experience where locals work the rice paddy fields alongside water buffalo. Vietnam is the second biggest exporter of rice in the world, and rice is symbolic throughout the nation as a gift from God. And 45 minutes drive north of Da Nang, through these iconic fields on Vietnam's tranquil central coast, is Laguna Lang Co, a golf resort that plays up to the region's natural charm. Designed by Sir Nick Faldo, Laguna Lang Co is a par 71 championship course that perhaps boasts one of the most authentic settings found anywhere in the golfing world. It's not very often that you have a, a three kilometer private beach kind of tucked in behind a, a mountainscape here. And then the Faldo design firm, we're looking to create a, a very unique Vietnamese golf experience. And they wanted to utilize the ancient rice paddies that were already existing throughout much of the course, and then also get it as close as they could to the, the coastline to kind of show the East Sea that rolls up against the beach. Laguna Lang Co has been described as the best of Sir Nick Faldo's 26 designs, where the six-time major winner made the most of the variety of its environments. The 6,958-yard layout starts in paddy fields, routes through thick jungle and back out to the beach. There's an enormous amount of sand throughout probably 80% of the golf course, but you'll see when you tee off uh, holes number one, two, three, and four, they were built on top of old rice paddies that were pre-existing. So they've managed to preserve as much as the rice fields as they could on holes three and four. And then once you turn into number five, six, you realize you're kind of deep into the jungle along the mountain range. Um, and that's where you start to see these enormous boulders that had cascaded down through the jungle and out of the rocks. They just kind of plopped out along the, the edge of the fairway on six, which is truly unique. But as you get back into the, the rest of the course, there's 20 and 30 foot sand dunes throughout a lot of the holes that are the main features. With such a varied landscape, a rounded Laguna Lang Co takes on many twists and turns. So some of the holes that really kind of stand out and give you a good feel of the diversity between the front nine and the back nine. If you look at hole four, for example, you find yourself teeing off across rice paddies that have been there for hundreds, if not thousands of years. And we've worked with our team to make sure they're protected and that we still manage those agricultural areas the same as they always have. And we actually give the rice back to the community so we don't keep anything from it. We look at it as protecting their culture and kind of showing off a little bit of the history of the property. So it's a unique hole where you obviously hit over the rice paddies. It's a fairly long par four um, where you'd have a mid iron into the green. It's heavily bunkered on the left and kind of open into the jungle on the right. One thing that a lot of their guests don't notice, which is as you come through the approach bunkers, there's an old Buddhist temple just tucked into the jungle that's been used by the farmers for a few hundred years as far as we can tell. And it's still used today by a lot of our staff that work in the area. Another hole that really stands out, a lot of people call it the signature holes, would be the ninth hole, which is a short par four, which stretches along the entire coast. As you stand on the tee, you can see the waves kind of splashing up on the beach to your left. There's local fishel boats kind of patrolling the coastline. And then as you play down that hole, you, you find yourself working into a little inlet where a stream's just off the back of the green that works its way out to the sea. And then the beach is on the left. And right after that, one of the most diverse and unique holes that I've seen would be the 11th hole. It's literally cut into the mountainside, and the backdrop of the green is these gigantic boulders that have been there for thousands of years that are literally stacked up on top of each other. It's about 175 from the back tees, slightly elevated tee, but um, you're hitting over kind of a little bit of a rock garden as well on the left, and then just as thick as the Vietnamese jungle gets up on your far left. The green kind of works right around the boulder, so they're actually in play for a back pin location. The hole wasn't originally in Faldo's design, and one of the members on the team found a trail up through these rocks where they could get a path there, and once they were able to kind of look down from the ridge line into the, the screen site, there's just no way you couldn't put a golf hole there. While Faldo's eye-catching design is the centerpiece of Laguna Lanco, the fully integrated resort allows golfing travelers to spend a week in this magical setting, playing golf and exploring Vietnam's central coast. Managed by the world-renowned Banyan Tree, the 280-hectare resort features a variety of accommodation, 
from premium beachfront condos to the luxurious Banyan Tree residences. It's about luxury, it's about serenity. It's a very enjoyable product that um, provides the sort of experience that somebody wants if they are a couple, if they are celebrating something, but it's also nice for couples to play golf together and to be able to enjoy a sport together, but do it in a, in a setting of luxury and good cuisine, which has uh, got a very distinct Vietnamese flavour in this occasion. These residences that we're in at the moment, they come in from one bedroom to three bedroom options. They're very good at the families. We have a lot of people that travel in multi-generations. So bring the grandparents to look after the kids while the parents are playing golf or enjoying the beach. So they are a very different product to what Angsana is. Angsana is more the product that you bring with, with, with groups. So if you had four guys or two couples traveling over to enjoy the golfing of central Vietnam, that's the sort of product that's more appropriate, more active, larger, semi-self-contained, uh, which is good for longer stays. And underpinning all that, we've got two and a half kilometres of private beach, which I don't know in Australia or in New Zealand uh, whether it's possible to have a private beach of that length. Laguna Lang Co is one of four headline courses on the central coast, where within 400 metres of the beach, you can be at 1,400 metres of elevation, and the winter temperatures are a balmy 20 degrees. The Da Nang region is the fastest emerging golf destination in Asia, befitting its billing as Vietnam's Gulf Coast. I think what really sets Laguna Golf Lanco apart is the golf course is completely surrounded by nature. Aside from the clubhouse, there's no structures on all 18 holes. It's very rare that you have golf holes like our 8th, 9th and 10th holes that are along the beach and then as you make the turn into 11, 12, 13, you kind of find yourself working through the jungle and then coming out into the final holes which is just large sand dunes on 15, 16, 17, 18. And what really sets that apart is the backdrop of the mountains. There's very few places in the world that I've seen where you have sand dunes and mountains in the same location. It feels like you're, you know, miles and miles away from civilization, but you are just a short drive up the coastline. Well, I think one of the keys to relaxation is to end up in an environment that's completely different to home. And here, it's just so obvious because of how distinctive Vietnam is. It's a different culture, it's a different cuisine. The landscape is completely different. The history is completely different. As soon as you land in Vietnam, your body relaxes because you just know you're, you're somewhere different. So if you come to play golf, that's only going to take up a portion of your day because there are going to be so many other things to do. Catch Holland Golf World, Thursdays and Saturdays.